Hi everyone, welcome to Clone Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. Today we'll be covering our top 3 takeaways from the legendary investor Bill Miller's recent interview with William Green. Bill Miller gained his fame by consistently beating the S&P index for over 15 years in a row. Miller runs Miller Value Partners, which you can probably guess makes Miller a value investor. But what's more striking is that his personal net worth is almost all in Amazon and Bitcoin. We know that both these investments have been on a downward spiral over the past six months. In this interview, William Green talks to Bill Miller about his thoughts on the current market situation. Green is an amazing journalist who has interviewed many of the greatest investors of our time over the last 25 years. He's the author of Richer, Wiser, Happier. Let's dive in. Takeaway 1. We are in a new investment regime. Bill Miller believes that the investing environment we have today is not like ever before. But most would not know it unless they were around in the 1970s and 1990s to witness how the market played out. These periods were ravaged by high inflation rates. Most young investors under the age of 60 haven't experienced trading stocks in such an inflationary environment. When interest rates are rising and inflation rates are shooting off the roof as well, Miller indicates that buying stocks when the Fed is tightening interest rates is a whole different time from what we've experienced in the past decades. We need to be careful and stick to companies with long-term growth opportunities. Takeaway 2. If you can't buy in a bear market, you can't buy at all. As we speak, the majority of stocks are significantly down. Miller estimates that about 90% of the stocks on the S&P are recording new record low prices that we haven't seen in a long time. He says that if you cannot buy in such a market, then you cannot buy in any market at all given the attractiveness of low prices and the possibility to above average returns. While others may be panicking and selling, a superior investor sees an opportunity and buys up the good companies. One important thing about buying at such times is that, even when you do lose, it isn't as catastrophic as when you buy at very high prices. Miller sees current economic crisis as something that happens only a few times in a decade, stating that similar opportunities only happened recently in 2008 and 2009. In simple terms, this is one of the best times to buy stocks. Takeaway 3. Don't sell early. When you buy and you see that the stock prices are going down, there is a great temptation. Sell and get rid of the pain. Bill Miller advises that you resist this urge and don't sell early. For Miller, he has certainly seen the benefits of holding for longer periods of time. He says that Amazon has been his greatest investment decision. He didn't just buy Amazon, he bought it at IPO and look at just how dramatic the returns have been over the years since purchasing it in 1997. But in stark contrast, says that his worst decision has been selling some shares of Amazon stock when the price doubled, but that was way too early as current prices. The Amazon stock price has gone up by more than 1500 times ever since. Warren Buffett says that buying a stock means you are now partly an owner in the company and you must learn and understand where the company is headed. This is important so that you don't sell early when the world around you panics. Bonus takeaway, be comfortable with uncertainty. No one truly knows what exactly the future holds so there will be a lot of uncertainty. This current macroeconomic environment will likely remain choppy, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy or sell. The market still goes on and so should you. Being comfortable with your decision is crucial for an investor because you will never have all the facts. The halving of the Amazon stock price has many investors concerned. Will it go down by another 50% or shoot up by 50%? No one can tell for sure. Risk management is all about being comfortable with a level of uncertainty that you can live with. Alright, for now, that's it from us. This interview has lots of other insights that we could not cover in this short video. Please smash that like button. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more such videos.